Hello, so welcome back. Um, the analysis has now been done, and as you recall, we we're doing PROCA on uh, some uh, an assembled genome sequence that was from an isolate called SH2, and we're using that as an example. And you'll recall that PROCA is for annotation, so it is for giving names to genes and then trying to work out what their function might be. So you'll see on the right hand side here. Remember, we were getting a lot of what are called output files. I believe there were 12 of them. And so I want to help you navigate the right-hand side here of this um, Galaxy page. Okay, so there's a whole lot of files, and we'll look at a few of them at a time. But first, just in general, how do you navigate this? Okay, so you will see that if you click on the name of something, it generally opens up some information. Usually there's not much here that we really need. Okay, so you can always click on it. So you can say click on or off. Okay, do not click the delete because you want to keep it here. What you can do is you can view the data. Okay, so if you click on view the data, it will just come up with a whole lot of information about that particular um, output file. Now we're not going to look at all of these, but let's say that, for example, you wanted to save this information. This is how you would do that. You would click on the name of the output file. Then you go down here and you would click on the little save or download and hit that. And then you would save it. Okay. But I'm not going to do that for now. What I do want to do is go through four of these files maybe five, um, that we are interested in. So the first one I'm interested in is the one called TXT here. So let's click on the view data. Let's see what we've got. And you see it's just a tiny little summary. So remember we told it it was a bacillus um, bacterium. There was one contig in the file, and this is how many nucleotides or base pairs are in it, so 3.7 million. CDS means essentially how many genes the annotation program found. It found 8,491 genes. It also found genes for what's called rRNA or ribosomal RNA and tRNA, which is transfer RNA. These are genes that have information, but not for making a protein, like in the central dogma, but for just making an RNA molecule. And that RNA molecule is then required for making proteins, right? So that's back in the lecture where we talked about the central dogma and transcription and translation. TMRNA we can ignore. Okay, so we're gonna save that one. So once again, find the text one, click on that, and then hit save. So I'm gonna save it. And these files, we're saving them because they might be useful for us later on. The next one we're interested in is called TSV. So we'll look for it, TSV, here it is here, TSV. So we're gonna click on that. Something will probably come up on the left in a moment. It takes a while for sometimes for this page to load, especially if there's a lot of information. So let's give it a moment. Well, while it's loading, let's download it. So we do wanna save this one, the TSV. So you can see it's thinking up here. This is probably a big file, so it's gonna take a little while to come up. So the TSV file is a summary of our annotated genes. So basically it's gonna be a summary of those 8,491. So I'm gonna save this. Right. And you'll notice it hasn't actually come up with the page. So let's try maybe, uh, I think I believe I did not hit the view data. So let's have a look at that. There it is there. Okay, so let's have a quick look at this. CDS essentially means coding sequence, which for our purposes is the same as a gene. And let's just look at one of them. It's saying that it found a gene that's about 300 base pairs long. The gene's called KDUL1. And we might think, well, what is that for? Well, it's a 4 deoxy l 5 hexylose urinate ketol isomerase which means it's a gene for an enzyme. Um, this is interesting. It sort of confirms that we have probably a bacillus species. Look at these spore germination protein. So these are genes 
for endospores, which are found in bacillus bacteria. So that's a good sign. There is this as well, hypothetical protein. So let me explain that briefly. A, what this means is that the annotation program has found a potential gene of 294 base pairs in size. But when it tries to match that gene in a database, a huge database of all genes that we know about, it's unable to make a match. So what it's saying is that it is probably a gene and it's probably making a protein, but we don't know what that protein is. So this could be a totally new protein. And this is very typical of when you are looking at um, the complete genome of an organism. It's very common, even in the human gen genome, to find genes that we don't even know what the protein that is made from that gene, we don't even know what that protein does. Okay, so we don't know everything about biology. So we can flick through this. All right, we've already saved this, so I won't go through and save it again. Okay, so that's the second file we have to save, the TSV file. Let's close this up here. The third one is essentially the same information, but in a slightly different form and a little bit additional information. It's this TBL one. So we'll save that one. Um, so here's what it looks like. Let me save it. Go down here, download, and once again, I'm going to save that. So this is essentially the same as that last table, but it gives you a little bit more information and in a different format. Right, so here's that first one we looked at, remember? That one with the weird long name, that's a gene for an enzyme. If we go down a little bit, we'll find those spore proteins that we talked about briefly a moment ago. Okay, so as I said, it's useful to also have this one for future um, analyses or needing to look at. Okay, so the next one we're going to look at is FAA. So it is possible that we'll be interested to look at uh, or know the protein sequences. So you might briefly recall that a protein is made up of amino acids and this is the predicted protein sequence of the information from each gene. So let's look at that spore protein, the spore germination protein that um, we found the predicted gene for this protein. Here is the predicted amino acid sequence of that protein. Remember that proteins are a whole chain or string of amino acids. This could be useful later on, especially if we find some genes for making antibiotics and we have a predicted, say, protein sequence of an antibiotic for those antibiotics that are protein. So once again, it'll be useful to have this information. Okay, so that one was the FAA file. So let's save that one. So once again, I'll just click on here, go down here and save it. All right, and the last one we're gonna look at is called the GFF file. Let's close this one back up. You'll notice that a lot of this information is just like it'd be nice to have a visual representation of a lot of this and there are programs that will do that but they're pretty complicated to use and even i have trouble using some of them so we're just going to look at this gff file it's a gff file is very similar to the other file we had um, and so we won't really go into this one here um, but what we'll do is i will save it because it might be useful later on to, excuse me while I change this, it might be useful later on in terms of uh, doing some analyses that we might need to do. So I'm just gonna save this GFF file. All right, so let's save it. And this one I believe is a big one. So it will take a little while to save. Okay, so, um, that's the annotation results. I know it doesn't seem to tell us much at the moment, but it will be useful because we will be able to um, later on use this data that we've downloaded from this annotation analysis. We'll be able to use it in combination with the results that we get from what's called the Anti-Smash website, which is the one that specifically looks for genes that are involved in antibiotic production. And so, 
it is useful to have this information now, all right? And so we will um, hopefully use this information later on to help us interpret those other results. So thank you, and um, that's it for this little part here. Thank you very much.